What's up kids, it's Caleb here from Game Glyph. And in this episode, we're going to play X-Men Mutant Apocalypse. Had to take a little break from editing, thought I'd do a little Let's Play here. You know, it's just fun to do. Really enjoyed making that last video. There's a lot of comparables between the uh, Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo as far as games that came out on it. So that's probably an ongoing seri series that I'll do. I'm wearing plaid because, you know, that's just, that's just what we do. See if I can get a better angle on this cam. Eh, is that better? Is there? Can there be a better angle of me? I mean, one that I can actually show. <laughs> so yeah, this is X-Men Mutant Apocalypse by Capcom for the Super Nintendo. Great game. I'm going to skip past the exposition because I'm an impatient person. And here we are at a menu where there are options. The option of no difficulty in the setting, because it's Capcom, so it's only going to be super hard. There's old Baldy Professor X. Hear me, hear me, my X-Men. Your mission is to invade the island of Genosha. And discern the location of the captured mutants. You'll be able to obtain information regarding the Genosha. Yes, the Genosian. Weird how they're tasting these texts here. Prison from the computer network. But beware. The, this is the worst professor. Anyways, anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta go on and beat people. So, you gotta pick these different characters. You got Psylocke and Cyclops. Psylocke and Cyclops. It's spelled differently, of course. So that's, that's the only reason you know the difference. Obviously, Wolverine, Beast, and Gambit. Some of the more popular characters from the Saturday morning cartoon, which I love. But uh, Silent wasn't really on that cartoon. We're going to play with probably one of my favorite characters of all time. He's the one where he does things to play with. It is good. And this game is really hard, and I haven't played it in a long time, so I'm probably going to die. Probably going to die a bunch. Uh, you see the game. Right away, you can tell this game is made by Capcom. But it's pretty awesome. I love her character. She's really cool. The sister of Captain Britain. 
Betsy Braddock, I think is her name. If I'm wrong, let me know below. I know that you will. You'll tell me how stupid I am in the comments below. Graphics in this game are great. The music's great. This is a typical Capcom. I mean, you could have taken the X-Men franchise away from us and it still would have been a good game. Look how thick she is. She is thick. Look at that. Look at that. I feel like I'm missing a button. Like there's a button. Oh there. Yeah. I love the old X-Men games on Sega Genesis, but there's... Oh no! There's no doubt that this is a better game. Oh, because she's got a shinobi down to me. That's, that's pretty baller. How did I miss them? They suck! What the die? It's like an old uh, NSL. Make it job. It's it's kind of distorted. I've noticed this in my more recent videos that my vocals once compressed. They sound like they're on like a phone line, like I'm on speaker phone. I really want to improve that. As as a budding aud audio engineer, you'd think that I would uh, have a better sound. It's just so much of a process for me to make videos. I use four different editors. I use <laughs> Windows Movie Maker. I use VCD or VBC. It's a free movie editor. It's actually really awesome. I use Legend, it's a phone app, and I use Power Director on my phone. As well. The only video camera I have is this uh, Logitech webcam, which is pretty decent, but I, uh, the computer I've got on is not even capable of supporting this situation. And then I use, um, you know, pretty much VDC at the end is kind of edit everything. I use PowerDirector to kind of edit most of my cam videos, like as far as like when I use my phone as an actual camera. Oh, shenanigans! Man, this this is what I hate. Man, these next ones. I'm about to die. I know, I know. I need to be more. Really? I know. I need to be more patient. I'm just showing you the game. That's all. I'm just I'm just showing it to you. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm good at it. I remember one time recently I did a, uh, a video of this game on PC called Mystic Towers. <laughs> and I haven't played that game in probably like 20 years. I always thought it was really cool. And somebody commented on my video. They were like, this was such an exercise and frustration watching you play this game. And I'm like, I never said I was good at every game. Like, part of my, my channel is a show game. I never said I was like a video game master. I'm not Jay from the NES I do love playing I'm stoked on the uh, ones that are released on the online. Yeah, my dogs are both. They give me talk to Hey, what are you talking about? But uh, I liked uh, Mario 2. That was one of my favorite games. I've never played the Kirby game that's on there. It's pretty good. I was surprised. By that. Oh, yeah. Um, one thing I will say about that is they keep re releasing like, these special edition versions of each game. I think that's such a a version of the game where it starts you out with like extra health or, you know, everything like that. That, that kind of dest destroys the discovery of the game. It's, it's not really fun. The Switch is killing us right now. I don't have enough games for it, but it's that is the way of life. I'm telling you, this game is Dead. This is 
working out perfect because I'm terrible and you can see all the different levels. So let's do uh, you get different lives for each character too. Let's do Gambit. He's from New Orleans. And I used to live in New Orleans, and it was really cool. It's kind of why I sewed my royal oats. So the best thing about how bad I am at this game is uh again you get to see all the different characters. You know I've never beat this game. Is Captain Wings and Taurusy Hall. This is what they did. I've talked to this before, but they basically made their games added hard. So that way you can beat them in the again. And you'd have to go back and uh and buy them if you want to buy them. That's smart, they'd make their money twice. You know, first time you're running it, second time you're buying it. I think that's pretty smart. Why why can't I jump? I mean seriously. Why can't I jump? That that move is making me sense to be like duh 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 uh like you can do that. You're supposed to be like full holding off of his uh staff, I guess that's what he's doing. This game is good and it's like the Japanese anime version of the Saturday morning cartoon as far as the works are. I like it. I played it a bunch, I'd probably get back to being good at it. I used to be good as a kid. I mean, okay, that's like, I was not good at this game. I did own it briefly, but I wasn't good at it. This is hard. And I got frustrated with it. You'd think being a big ass game, I played a lot. But this game doesn't really you know, have that X-Men vibe to it. I even feel like most of the second even though they're, they're, they're definitely felt like this feels like a Capcom. If you disagree with me, do it. So me playing Super Nintendo games is kind of a thing because I didn't really play it a lot as a kid. So that's why I've been playing them a little bit more now. Um, this also helps me kind of build an archive of games that I can review. Because I really didn't, I didn't play a lot of Super Nintendo as a kid. If I did, it was mostly like JRPG music. The main interest in the game having Super Nintendo really was uh, JRPGs. I had a friend who uh, played Final Fantasy VI, and that to this day is still probably you know my fondest memory. Of the game. That game very much is an issue in any JRPG.
I beat a level. I did it. I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at this game. I beat a level. Yeah. I'm not really that excited. Okay, cool. So mission. All right, so I'm going to show you this one last level, which I'm sure I'll die at. I always found this to be, like, the hardest stage. I wish I would have gotten farther in Wolverine's stage, because it only gets cooler. But that's stupid. Beast. It's, like, the only game you get to play as him, I think. I mean, as far as, like, you know, on the 16-bit consoles. This is not the Frazier version. Although I didn't think this was the Frazier so stupid. Killed everybody. Killed Cyclops. They need to like main that character. That's the only thing I'll give credit to in like the newer Fox X Men movies. It's like they were trying to bring Cyclops back. I like the cast. I like that actor, but he just he's not tall and skinny. Like, he's just Hugh Jackman. But uh, I mean, just, just make it about him. He's he is the X Men. Oh yeah, this is good. hanging upside down and punching. Cause that's good dude. Oh god! I'm getting better. I'm getting better. This game getting used to that close to that thing and the and the overall gameplay. Oh god, it's not worth having my face. told me like in the beginning I'm an impatient person that's a little bit sad hey I got that by default what okay yes music this game is cool Super Nintendo you know had a great sound engine it was very reverby a lot of reverb to it I like the thing about the Sega Genesis is there's a lot of great music, a lot of bass heavy great music on the Sega Genesis, but my god, it can get 20 and it pierce your ears. So I thought they would correct that by adding a lot of reverb to everything. And I've played through emulation, like, you know, you know, Wolverine. I mean, come on, he's the best of what he does. This guy's using all that nice. This one's for you, Mark. Oh, there we go! Yes! I 
Through after like 10 years of this, I'm gonna actually at least. Win. Oh no, no, I'm not gonna win because I really suck playing Cyclops, even though he's like such a badass. There's no way, there's just no way. There's a good live stream. Um, I was thinking about starting a go for me, so I could get like a decent go here. I probably wouldn't do it if I want to do it. It's important. I'd like it. I think it's a great game. One of the greatest developers in the game. It's a dawn of the game. It's a great game. Honestly, if it wasn't for the building aspect, I would like it more. And you don't have to do that. I feel like I'm not. Like, I still get it. I think I'm too impatient. Get in the game, oh, this is fun. Yeah, this is fun. Because if I can do that, it's better I can do this.
game over. Well, I earned that, kids. <laughs> I earned that game over. I gave it a good shot. I really enjoyed it. Put almost 30 minutes into this game. So that was X-Men Mutant Apocalypse on the Super Nintendo by Capcom. Great game. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this game. I'm sure you're a lot better. I'm sure anyone's better than me in this game. Uh, what happens after you beat all those levels? Is there, like, another set of levels? Like, another Mega Man? Or, like, what's going on after you beat all that? I don't, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And if you stumbled across my channel, by all means, please, 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 subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And I'll be working on another more edited video soon. I'm actually working on it now. Not right now, because you just saw me playing this game. But it is in the works. It's in the pipeline. So until next time, kids, I'll see you again really, really soon. Bye!